Would standing on a vibration plate for 10 minutes a day reverse bone loss? Or is it an expensive overhyped gadget with hidden dangers? If you've looked into this, you know the internet is a war zone of conflicting studies. One site promises a miracle, the next warns of disaster. It's enough to leave anyone feeling trapped and confused. Today, we cut through the noise. In this video, we're putting whole body vibration under the microscope. I'll reveal the two main types of platforms, one gentle and one powerful, and which one the science actually supports. We'll confront the safety concerns head on so you know the real risks versus the hype. By the end, you will have a clear evidence-based verdict on whether this technology is a waste of money or a worthy investment in your future. Before I get into the content for the day, if you're finding this topic interesting and want to see more content that cuts through the noise on osteoporosis, take a moment to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and sometime in this video, share your biggest takeaway in the comments below. It truly helps get this vital information out to more women who need to hear it. First, understand this. The confusion exists because we're talking about two totally different technologies. On one side, you have the low and slow approach or low intensity vibration. Think of this as a gentle whisper to your bones. It uses a very subtle low level vibration designed to mimic your body's natural signals to stimulate bone building cells. The entire focus is on being incredibly safe and gentle. The hypothesis with this low and slow technology is that these mild vibrations send signals that almost trick the body into believing you are more active than you actually are and thus need to keep the bones strong. In interviews with experts on low intensity vibration, they often use walking as a model for their technology. They say, when you walk, you stimulate lots of low intensity vibrations and muscle contractions that result in signals to the bones that promote bone strength. On the other side is the forceful and fast approach or traditional whole body vibration. This isn't a whisper, it's a shout. It uses a more powerful G-force to create intense muscle contractions and forces to the bones, putting a significant load on your bones to demand a growth response. The goal is a bigger effect, but it raises more questions about safety. The difference between these technologies is that one sends signals similar to daily activity. The other sends signals similar to intense exercise. So a gentle whisper or a forceful shout, this is the core conflict and understanding it is the key to clarity. So which one works? Let's follow the evidence. The low and slow approach appears very safe. The most popular platform being the Marodyne Live. Studies show it can help slow down bone loss, which is good. But for reversing osteoporosis, the evidence is shaky. Pun intended. The main studies had high dropout rates and only found a benefit in very specific subgroups, which isn't a strong sign of effectiveness for everyone. We have a Marodyne and a power plate in our office. I can tell you that when you step on the Marodyne, it's so gentle that you think, this can't be doing anything. It pains me to report that based on the research that I have seen, the low intensity vibration platforms at the worst do nothing. At the best, they appear to help slow or stop bone loss, probably similar to what you can achieve with a consistent walking program. Now for the forceful and fast approach. The most popular platform is the power plate. The research here is more robust. Multiple studies show it can lead to significant increases in bone mineral density, especially at the hip, a critical site of fractures. While critics sometimes label the evidence as lower quality, which usually means smaller and shorter term studies, the sheer number of studies showing a positive result for building bone is meaningful. The problem is the effect isn't too impressive, with some research suggesting a slowing or a stalling of bone loss, and yet others showing a modest increase in bone density in the realm of 1% over a year. The verdict? Low and slow is safe, but may not be powerful enough to reverse bone loss. Forceful and fast has more promising evidence for actually building bone, Though the results are modest, which brings us to the big questions. Is it safe? And is it worth the investment? This is the part that worries everyone. First, let me be direct. In major clinical studies using reputable platforms, fractures have not been reported. However, that doesn't mean it's risk-free. It's my job to give you the full picture. Side effects are possible. Some people report temporary dizziness, headaches, or ringing in the ears. 
And for those with severe osteoporosis, it's conceivable that a very high intensity could pose a fracture risk. There are also a few published case studies, though not in the clinical trials, suggesting a link to retinal detachment. I will point out that these case studies do not prove causation, and they often do not provide the brand and technology of the platform used, an important factor in evaluating the safety. Having used the power plate with many patients without any issues, I am convinced that they are safe for most people, including those with osteoporosis. That being said, whole body vibration is not for everyone. You should generally avoid it if you have a history of blood clots, heart conditions or pacemaker, pregnancy, inner ear or certain eye problems, or recent surgery. This is not a complete list. You must speak with your doctor who knows your medical history before starting. The biggest danger isn't the technology itself. It's using it improperly. The hazard lies in the cheap, unregulated knockoffs that deliver unpredictable forces and in using them improperly. In one case study, for example, involving retinal detachment, the subject reported standing on the platform with knees locked to the point where he felt his teeth rattling intensely, which is not recommended with these platforms. You usually keep the soft knees to prevent excess vibration to the head, eyes, and teeth. Your best defense is choosing a quality machine, using it properly, and getting your doctor's approval. Before you consider buying, let's get real about three things. One, compliance. A high-intensity platform is an intense workout. It can be uncomfortable. If you dread using it, you won't stick with it, and it will just gather dust like many other pieces of equipment. Two, perspective. A 1% gain in bone density is a fantastic gain, but a well-designed resistance training program can often deliver gains of three to 5% or more. Whole body vibration helps, but it is not the most powerful tool you have. Three, the cost benefit. Are you willing to spend thousands of dollars on a machine for a benefit that while real, might be smaller than what you could achieve through strength training, for example. It's a personal call, but one you need to make with open eyes. So what's the right move for you? The low and slow approach is best for those who are extremely frail, recovering from fractures, or need the absolute safest, gentlest option available. If you are already mobile and in relatively good shape, these platforms may not provide significant benefit over a consistent walking program, for example. If you are frail, very limited in movement, these platforms may be a good addition to your program. The forceful and fast approach is for those who are generally mobile and want to do everything they can to build bone and are willing to accept a higher intensity for a potentially greater reward. All that being said, would I suggest my mother use either of these platforms? Probably not. They are very expensive, uncomfortable, modest in benefit, and I feel the money would be better spent elsewhere. To help you make a confident decision, I've created downloadable show notes that walks you through the key points in this video. You can download it for free using the link in the description. If you remember one thing from this video, let it be this. Vibration is a tool, not a magic bullet. It cannot replace the unshakable foundation of bone health. There are three pillars you must have in place. Pillar one, progressive resistance training. This is the king of bone building. Nothing beats lifting heavier things over time. Watch our video on progressive resistance training. Pillar two, optimal nutrition. You need the raw materials to build bone. Calcium, vitamin D, vitamin K, magnesium, and protein. See our videos on the osteoporosis diet. Pillar number three, remove bone blockers. You must address issues like chronic inflammation, untreated health conditions, and problematic medications that sabotage your efforts. There's also a bonus pillar, hormone balance. For those who are candidates, it can be a powerful magnifier for all of your other work. See our video on hormones and osteoporosis. A vibration platform can supplement this foundation, but it can never replace it. For a complete guide on how all these pieces fit together, download the free show notes for this video from the link in the description. We started this journey in a state of confusion. Now, you should have clarity. You know the difference between the whisper and the shout approaches. You know how to evaluate the evidence and the real safety risk. Most importantly, you know that no machine can ever replace the true foundations of bone health. The goal isn't just a better DEXA scan. It's to confidently pick up your grandkids, travel without worry, and live a life defined by your passions, not your diagnosis.
The power to build stronger bones is in your hands. Make your next choice not from fear, but from a place of empowered, informed confidence. If you're finding this information valuable and want to see more content that cuts through the noise of women's health and osteoporosis, take a moment to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share your biggest takeaway in the comments below. It truly helps get this vital information out to more women who need to hear it. As always, get educated, not medicated. I'll see you in the next video.